right is the cpi data so today we are talking about inflation those sneaky numbers you know that somehow determine if you're breaking the bank at the store or not so let's dive into the latest cpi numbers for september 2024 and let me tell you things are interesting this month with this economy you know throwing us the curveball so it's not just the you know sunshine and all those rainbows uh, by the way so all right so we see this inflation has been playing a pig bull so this month it's finally decided you know to give us a little breather because when we take at these numbers we see a little bit of a drop right so cpi month on month for september our actual number came out uh, in 0.2 percent right in line uh, with what we expected um or predicted right so but a little lighter than last month because it was 0.3 percent so let's check out the cpi year on year for september so we see that the inflation rate is sitting at 2.3 percent down from august 2.5 percent so we are moving into the right direction folks but don't start celebrating yet because when you check at the core cpi month on month uh, for september it locked in in a gentle uh 0.1 percent so and we see a dip from uh, the previous 0.2 percent so that is the core inflation is a little tamer right without volatile items like you know your food and as well your energy as well so what's going on so here is a t guys because when we check this disinflation it might sound great but don't pop the champagne just yet because energy prices one of the biggest contributors to the inflation might not actually you know going down any further because let's face it well the gas prices are already testing our patience right we know the gas prices are actually really up there but do you remember last year month uh, a little lower energy prices where that helped calm inflation but now not so much because what's driving this inflation numbers we see the housing and uh, the housing market the food the energy anyone wants the roof on top of their head isn't it everyone wants to eat and you need energy as well so well that's the big three right because who doesn't need a roof over their head everyone wants it something to eat everyone wants it energy to power all this you know gadgets we are addicted to so we need it right so however there's this a soft landing they say so now the real question is can we trust you know what the, the this financial uh, people are telling us they're throwing around this soft landing business is like a pillow fight i mean but let's be real for a second time if this inflation isn't it mitigating as smoothly as like uh, we would actually predict to be like with this bond yields jumping uh, today we have the news about uh, you know 10 year uh, yeah 10 year yield right so all this bond yields jumping all above can we really believe everything is just fine no 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 no, no. well the 10 year yield a uh, treasury yield is little spicier because now these days um just ask anyone keeping an eye on this bond markets right the bond buyers are getting weary right because now the stocks as well they're overbought i mean the bond yields as well they're soaring up so in meanwhile we are told everything it will be okay oh my god everything will be okay well it's giving me trust me i'm an economist vibes <laughs> so but what about this recession talk because everyone is trying you know to dodge uh, this word recession they are trying to dodge this r on this recession word <laughs> But look at the yield cap inversion and it's telling a different story, you know, taking us all the way back to 1981 because that's the technical clue, you know, you can't just ignore. I mean, we just have to look at it. And sure, they keep telling us, you know, we can avoid a recession. But hey, guys, the 1929 crash didn't give anyone, you know, <laughs> a much of a warning, did it? No. 2008 didn't give anyone a warning, did it? No right because all this you know the retail sales are finally turning the bullish for the first time uh, since april last year but don't be fooled because most of this action is driven you know by the corporate stock buying so that's what i said as well in the traders fair um, expo i told you guys that most of the time when you see stocks 
you know overboard it's because it's motivated or driven by the corporate stock buybacks right they keep buying it back and uh, you know it's not organic uh, consumer growth so that's what you need to know that's what you need to tell the difference right so when you look at the consumer versus the system right let's look at the consumers well they're still out there spending you know they keep consuming but let's not get carried away because now um if you remember right the credit cards are getting maxed out faster than ever before why because the debts are skyrocketing everyone keeps acquiring debt you know everyone keeps spending everyone oh my god just look at 2022 as record high consumer credit that was 931 billion in the last quarter so that's i mean that's crazy so more debt more spending all while all this way to struggle to keep up with the pace and inflation imagine so and when those credit card bills stop getting paid what's going to happen guess who's going to you know be holding the bag well it's not guys at the top but i mean it's not you actually but the people who sold you they keep uh, making money right so that's why you always need to tell um if you're being sold garbage or not you know because wall street will always sell you garbage no matter what um whatever uh, uh, um financial product they will just package it and sell it to you right and they know that those uh, financial products they're gonna run counterparty risk but they keep selling you and because you don't know you keep buying them thinking oh my god i'm holding a great asset it's not like that so well let's look at the september cpi it gave us a bit of a relief but we are not out of the woods yet you know the market is playing games and we see all this inflation may be down but don't be tricked into thinking you know the economy is riding smooth waves because the real storm might be just around the corner so inflation this recession the soft landings as well call it whatever you want to call it but keep your eye open right because as always don't just survive but thrive stay educated keep watching those markets and remember that knowledge is your best defense against this financial madness so that's all for today guys good luck with tomorrow's cpi and trade well